नमस्कार वेलकम टू द योगा इंस्टीट्यूट योगा इंस्टीट्यूट इज नियरिंग हंड्रेड इयर्स एंड हियर पीपल लर्न हाउ टू लिव योगा इज अ वे ऑफ लाइफ साइंस ऑफ लिविंग एवरी ह्यूमन इज अ वेरी यूनिक पर्सनैलिटी आई वुड से सैम्पल बाई इट सेल्फ नो वन इज लाइक यू नो वन कैन यून अंडरस्टैंड यू हंड्रेड पर्सन बिकॉज यू आर अ यूनिक पर्सन and every human has tremendous potentials because person is divine potentially but now know yourself is the main crux who am i what am i what is this body of mine how it works all of us have inherited weaknesses and strength from our ancestors so if my father grandfather had diabetes i have a chance to have diabetes so right from the beginning i should know how to take care of myself so this is how we should know how to live our body also is so self sufficient that it can take care of itself but if we interfere with body then the problem starts and the interference done through mind if mind is positive happy body can function very well otherwise it can cause problems human body gives you signals tells you how it works what hurts what doesn't hurt when you sit for long time if your legs start getting numb body is telling you get up and you should listen to the signal and get up or change your ways body's language has to be understood you are hungry body tells you get food after eating food you know that how much should i eat body tells you stomach is full so this language has to be understood and we should live our life there are four areas where we have to really take care of ourselves to remain fit fine and healthy aahar vihar aachar and vichar the first area is regarding diet food basic rules we should follow four times in a day we should eat regular interval is required eat only that much so that you get hungry after 4 hours eat such food which is light for you what we call as a sattvic food little heavily spicy and oily food is called as rajasic food and artificially colored flavored vitaminized highly processed food is called as tamasic food as far as possible we should try and eat easily digestible food for ourselves and learn how much to eat when person sits to eat person should be hungry if you are not hungry then don't eat but always have some liquid with meals now we talk about vihar vihar means rest recreation sleep person must have some rest whenever possible close your eyes while traveling close your eyes while thinking that would work wonders person should sleep very very well good sleep is a need because in sleep all the repair work takes place in our body and so 7 to 8 hours of good sleep is required and because of that early dinner is what is mentioned in life some recreative activities are very important recreation some hobbies music reading some good literature maybe some instrumental music some acting playing games something should be done this would really help managing our emotions thoroughly well now we go to the third step and that is aachar aachar means routines right from morning till night we must have some organized way of living life the moment we wake up drink one to two glass of water clear up your system then go for a walk before eating food is the time of exercise and after food is the time of relaxation so all four times since we are eating both the times either we could walk or we could climb five floors and come back or we should do some asanas and this is how we should follow certain routines in life and that will keep us really fit and fine now we talk about vichar vichar means thought processes how do we think when someone behave rudely somebody can think very differently that why do he behave rudely you get hurt somebody will say fine behave rudely because he was not in a happy state so it is totally up to us how to think 
we have a choice to think positive or negative so always remember that we should be in a positive state when we think some every human is different so every human is going to behave in a different way now we should maintain our balance and that should be our motto yoga is nothing else but balanced state of mind and so whenever we do any action we should have a habit of thinking before doing any action so never react in life do action at a right time in a right manner